Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ellie. If you're new to my channel, and welcome to Beauty with a Purpose. So if you are new to my channel, my name is Ali. I upload three videos a week, beauty, Bible, and lifestyle. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get into today's video. Okay, so today I have a chit chat get ready with me and we're just gonna do like a bold summer lip makeup tutorial because I know like sometimes you wanna be bold but you don't wanna do like bold eyeshadow. Sometimes you just wanna settle for a bold lip. So that is exactly what we are going to do. I'm gonna be doing a little bit of color correcting and all that jazz. So let me go ahead and just pull my hair back, my little heady band. And I did do my brows off camera because I was actually like doing my brows, like shaping them and like plucking them and stuff. And this one is super thin. So that's why this one looks a little bit more bulky and boxy because we struggled with her. We struggled with her. She has the good tail. She has the fullness. This tail is always a little bit thick. This one always has a good tail, but we shaved a little bit too much of her off. So we are going to go ahead and get into priming our face. So I actually have had this sample for a while and that is a sample of the Milk Makeup Hydra Grip Primer. And so I really wanted to try this because I really like my um, primer serum and it gives me my Wet n Wild Primer Serum. And it gives me that tacky feeling, but I'm not sure like how this one feels. I'm not even sure if I'm gonna need this whole little sample pack. So I'm gonna just put a little bit of this on my hands, like that much. That's like not even half of the pouch that I got. And we're just gonna start, oh yeah, you don't need all of that. So the reason you guys did not get any videos last week is because my computer started telling me like, storage full, storage full. And I was like, okay. And I had edited a video and I was like, and I cleared stuff out. Like I had cleared stuff out. Ooh, that is grippy. I cleared stuff out like as soon as it told me that. And so I was like, okay, so I went and I edited a video yesterday, which was Thursday, which was the, is today, which was the 28th. And I did go ahead and um, I cleared stuff out. And yesterday I filmed, I edited a video and I was getting ready to save it to my computer, but it wouldn't save. It was like storage full. And I was like, oh my goodness, like you've got to be kidding me. And so I tried to edit it, uploading it straight from iMovie to YouTube. And I don't know, it just never works that way for me. And I'm not sure why, like it just doesn't work like that. That's why I always have to save it to my computer and then upload it to YouTube. Needless to say, I had to delete so much stuff off. And I, when it said like iMovie library, because for whatever reason, like iMovie was saving like every video that I ever edited, even if I would delete it out of like the big screen of where it says like iMovie library, like it would just, like it would save them and so it's like okay like i'll just delete all these iMovie files because that was like 95 percent of my storage was being taken up i was like i'll just delete this maybe it won't delete what i haven't saved to the computer or what i haven't edited well it deleted everything so i was like you know what i'm not gonna let it upset me oh and i just went in with the benefit professional hydrating professional hydrate primer and i'm gonna go ahead and use my Skin and Company Mist. So yeah, we um that's why there was no videos last week. So I'm filming today and you know we're just gonna catch up and we're not gonna let that bother us. I already told myself like I'm not gonna let it get me down. Like I can refilm everything. I had that pretty blue eyeshadow look that I posted on um Instagram on there. I had the really pretty red look that I posted on Instagram stories. So if you don't follow me on there, you definitely need to follow me on Instagram because that's where I post a lot of my more bold makeup looks before I actually post them on my channel. And I'm glad that I do that because at least the look didn't go to waste. Like I was still able to showcase my skills, but I do plan on redoing the blue look. And then I had an all about my eyeshadows palette video on there. So yeah, I'm just gonna refilm all of those. But today we are not doing that. We're not doing the blue look. We are doing something simple, bold lip. So to cover up some of these spots, I'm gonna just go in with my normal concealer first. And you guys, I'm actually like, I have really bad allergies, so that is what you hear right now. I do not have the corona. I just have really bad allergies. So we're just gonna cover up all these little breakouts that we have. I actually did the lawn today and I'm so glad that I figured out that rose really helps with like repairing, like keeps you from getting sunburned and stuff. So I always treat my face with a rose milk, uh, a rose, what is it called? It's like a rose milk cleaner. So I always treat my face with that after I do the lawn and it actually does keep my skin from actually like 
continuing to burn. I'll still have some redness, but it's never as bad. And then I got like a rose, a rose shower oil to help with like the body. Cause I already have tan lines on my back from the sports bra. Taking that same concealer, we're just gonna prime our eyes. So yeah, you guys, I screwed up pretty bad, but that's okay because you know what? You win some, you lose some, but you can still make it right. So that's what we are going to do. We're going to make it right. Another thing that I did go on my social media and share was that I will no longer be doing boxycharm subscriptions on my channel just because i feel like they give all the stuff like to advertise through bigger influencers and then like when i get my box it's like nothing would i expect it to be last time a product came broken like this little hourglass thing fell all the way out of the tube when i opened it mind you I, my mail gets delivered pretty early in the day like it wasn't so it's not like i had been sitting outside and when i opened it like the whole thing just fell out of the tube like yeah it just and then it always comes super late in the month like always always comes super late in the month and i'm like it's pointless because by the time i even get to upload my unboxing of it like there's three thousand other people who unbox it and like the products just weren't wowing me anymore so I was just like, why? Why keep paying for something that I'm starting to not be happy with? And I didn't even unbox this month's BoxyCharm. No, my sister did give me this, the Studio Makeup Eyeshadow Palette. And it just looks like this. This is what we're going to be using today. And I believe she got this one in a BoxyCharm. I'm not too sure. Don't really remember. I'm going to take that same brush and take the shade lace right here and set that down. Yeah, so I'm just not going to be getting BoxyCharm anymore. I didn't even unbox this month's because it came like last week. And this week's obviously like the last week of the month. And I was like, I'm just not gonna put up with it. Just not going to. Well, I canceled it. I will continue to get Ipsy though, because Ipsy's really been surprising me and making me really happy. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the shade Bare and I'm gonna buff that into my crease. So we're just really doing this to add some dimension to our eyes so that way it's not just like flat that camera's too far that one's too small camera that mirror's too far that one's too small so yeah let me know how you're if you're subscribed to boxycharm like how are your boxes been like are you kind of getting over boxycharm because it's like they raised their price and their service and products got worse at least for me i mean of course bigger influencers and people who are sent the box free by ipsy they're getting like these amazing boxes and it makes you want to subscribe. And I don't want to pay more like just to get a better box. You know, like I get it. Everybody needs money, but you ain't gonna hustle this one. You're just gonna lose my business. Now I'm going to mix, I'm going to mix Wicked and Sheen. Mix these, two, maybe these two. I'm gonna mix these two right here. So Flaxen and Sheen. I'm gonna mix those two and put that on my lid. Just in the center. Going back in with that bare shade. Just gonna kind of bring this in like that. That's all we're gonna do for the eyes. I'm actually, I need tweezers and my eyelash curlers. I'm so glad I moved my makeup earlier today. My makeup right behind me. So that way now all I gotta do is turn around and grab what I need. And it makes more space in our room. Not that, I mean, our room is massive if you've seen my vlogs, but like a whole little efficiency back here. If we put a little kitchenette, it would literally be an efficiency. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and go with my Tardis lash paint and just coat the top lashes. I love this mascara, you guys. Check on the boys. It's almost like they have blocks and I did not take down blocks unless their dad did. Bryson, what are you doing? I guess their toys just sound like blocks, but they do not have the blocks out. I'm going in, I need to order more of these or go get some more. Going in with my Salon Perfect 614 lashes. Gonna apply those. Might talk Brian into going into Walmart later. We need some more of that weed eater stuff, like a little string that goes inside of your weed eater. We need more of that. It's lasted me three times doing my yard. So, the, like what it came with, and I'm pretty sure I have like only one time left of doing my yard. So, I would hate to run out in the middle of me doing my yard. 
actually need to buy more lashes because I'm doing some makeup for some people this coming weekend. Not not like tomorrow, but June 4th. So I'm gonna be doing people's makeup for a wedding and one of the girls wants lashes, one of them don't, but I need to buy more lashes. People have been asking me to do their makeup a lot and my actual inventory of lashes is taking forever to come in. So I guess they're sanitizing packets or freaking building. I don't know. I don't know why shipping is taking so long. I'm gonna pop these on and be right back. Okay, so. Whew. Put a little bit more of that brown in my crease because after the lashes, it kind of didn't look like there was much. So just add a little bit more brown in my crease. I'm gonna take two foundations because <laughs> your girl is getting dork. So I'm going to mix the BH Cosmetics Foundation and the ABH. These are two foundations that I know that I like, so. If that primer acts funky, we will know it's the primer. It's the only thing different that I am using. I used this, um, the first time I wore this foundation, I didn't like it because I had used my e.l.f. Glowy Dewy Mist app to set. And it was, can you believe something was way too dewy for me? Like, I was creasing and it was not cute. So I did it, used it again, my usual primers, without my usual setting spray everything like that without the glow dewy mist and it wore so pretty i loved it so sometimes i don't know you just gotta try different primers and everything like that so even if you're dry you could probably use a matte foundation just use hydrating primers if you're oily you could probably use a luminous or a dewy primer or natural finish or satin or whatever just use mattifying products underneath and on top. Now I admit sometimes there's just that one matte foundation that's just a little bit too matte or that one dewy foundation that's just a little bit too dewy. Look how pretty that looks. It matches perfectly when I mix those. So did you guys know that you could tell your undertone, like not whether you're yellow or olive, but you can tell if your undertone is cool, warm, or neutral by if your skin, if you go outside and your skin just burns, you are a cool undertone. So if you if you go outside and you're in the sun and you just sunburn, you're a cool undertone. If you go outside, you're in the sun and you just tan, like you just tan, you're a warm undertone. And if you sunburn, then tan, you're a neutral undertone. I am a neutral undertone because Certain parts I, I burned and tan my sister face, she just tanned. So it's funny because we can wear a lot of the same shades of foundation, but it's because I am neutral. But I have to be very careful because sometimes it can be a little bit too orange on me or too warm. And cool is, I never noticed that. Warm is just too, I didn't know that that was the reason, but if you were wondering if you were cool, warm, or neutral, do you tan, burn, or burn then tan? So tip of the day. Also, I've been really, really looking into skincare and I have learned so many things and I have been learning like what I need for my skin and what works with what. And did you know that retinol is just vitamin A? So don't pay extra for anything that says retinol. Just use products that are high in vitamin A. Probably just include a vitamin A um, supplement into your diet and take more vitamin A and it'll do the same thing as just retinol. Don't pay the extra price tag. Retinol is just vitamin A. Oh, I didn't even tell you. The same Milani concealer, guys. Learn something new every day. And like I said, I learned that rose is really good for reversing sun damage and healing sun from being out in the sun. It's very calming. So like maybe getting like a rose water and you can actually make your own rose water by just getting like purified water and soaking, the, uh, getting some fresh rose petals and just letting it marinate in there. And you can make your own rose water. And then it's organic and all that good stuff and you don't have to pay the extra price tag. What else can I tell you guys without going into full depth? Something that truly helped me. Mangoes, did you know mango is actually really, really good for your skin? The antioxidants, the benefit, the vitamin A, I mean vitamin A, it has high fiber in it. Did you know that you could actually eat the skin of mangoes? The mango skins are actually edible and they're super high in fiber. So if you have problems pooping, just eat some mango skin. So going in with this e.l.f. under eye powder, I really like this, you guys. This little under eye powder is so good. And I usually just only put this where I apply concealer because I want those spots to be highlighted. 
is the face that I'm going in with, which is actually a favorite. I will go with all over my face. And now we are going in with our Fit Me. And I have mine in the shade 15. Like this is a, I can't decide if this is neutral or, I mean, cool or warm. Like, I don't know. What do you guys think? It's kind of orangey, but it's kind of pinky. One of you guys actually suggested that I buy this and use it. And I'm so glad that I repurchased it because I had the light shade that was just way too light. So, or fair light. What do, what do I have? Just light? I have light. So I had the fair shade, which now would be just way too fair. It's so crazy how I started taking better care of myself. And like my skin just naturally got deeper. It's not really as light as it once was. Like naturally, my skin just has like a glow to it now. No, I'm not pregnant, but just all the time pregnant not pregnant my skin just has now always has some kind of color tan and go to it okay so we're not putting anything on the lower lash line except for some brown eyeliner this one is by la girl and then taking some of this mascara Okay, so now for bronzer, I'm gonna take my Nomad and I'm gonna take this mainly beach palette and start bronzing my face with that. Ooh, always be putting too much of this because I'll be forgetting how pigmented this is. I gotta blend it out. I like this bronzer. I like this bronzer a lot. Going through my love, going in with my Lovecraft Beauty palette, and I'm gonna take this shade Dolphin. I still don't know how to say that. And apply that. Apply that to my cheeks. My cheeky cheeks. What she's making me go. back in with lace and I'm gonna highlight my brow bone and then I'm gonna take sheen and put that on my inner corner for highlight I'm gonna go in with this palette and I'm going to mix these two right here highlight brush is my favorite highlight brush I'll link it down below I want to tone that down a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in to this palette. And I'm going to go in with this one right here. I'm just going to cover up all that, like some of that gold maybe. Hopefully. Oh my gosh. It's just, oh, I went into the wrong color. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So much highlight. Just stop, Allie. Just stop. Just stop trying to fix it. Girl, I'm struggling over here. I'm struggling. I'm so blend that out a little bit because that is... Wow. Wow. <laughs> oh, my Lanta. It's way too gold for my eyeshadow look. That's because I didn't even use the gold. I used this one. I'm going to highlight on my face right now. That is gold. Girl. Okay, going in for with the star of the show, which is the lips. I'm going to be using my Becca lip liner in the shade Fun. And then... My Revlon Matte Lip Gloss and So Lit <laughs> and So Lit. a perfect match I love when my lipstick and lip liner are almost like perfect mm. okay now going in with my hydra matte 
fixing spray by Makeup Revolution. And we're just gonna spray that all over our face. Okay guys, so this is it for today's makeup look. I hope that you guys enjoyed. It's always nice to just play with a fun, bold lip if you don't wanna do dramatic eyeshadow. Always go for a bold lip and your glam. Yeah, you're ready for every day. Like you can go to work like this or you can go out like this. Like, Anyways, so again, you guys, I'm so sorry about last week and there not being any videos. Um, I will do better. I'm working on getting more like a portable little hard drive. I'm working on getting an actual camera so that way no files get lost that way. So I love you guys. But always remember that Jesus loves you more. If you haven't already, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Mwah.